Hey guys, this is just a quick video. I'm going to show you how you can create this refracted glass effect inside of Fusion. Right, so to get started, we will drag in an image of our choice. So I'm going to be using this image right over here. Let's view this. Let me just zoom into this. And then the next thing we are going to do is we're going to add in a, a displace effect to this. Pretty cool effect. So uh, you can do a lot of, lots of stuff with this uh, effect or the node, the displace node. Right now, we want to create a displacement map. For that, we will just use a background node. Let's view this. This is in a 1920 by 1080 size. We'll go to the image tab over here and uncheck auto resolution and we will change the width. So we'll just make it something like 100 pixels and then we will change the color as well. So from color tab, we'll change the type to gradient and we can even change the gradient, the look of the gradient. If you want to change that, you can do that, do it right over here. And after the background, let's just rename this to gradient. I'm going to just add in another background node. While this node is still selected, you can click on the very first icon that will add a merge as well. So let's take a look at merge tool. You can see the size is this right over here. We will hit control T on the keyboard or you can right click on merge tool and click on swap input so that it is in 1920 by 1080 resolution. And now you have this gradient inside this um, size over here. Let's go to the background three and we will set the alpha all the way down to zero um, so that there is it is transparent. You can also double check it by going in the menu over here and click on check underlay. You can see that it is actually transparent. When you merge to, I will change the edges to wrap and this will basically create this repeated pattern over here. And I can use this pattern to use, uh, use this pattern as a displacement map so you can is connected to this displace. Now, if you take a look at this displace too, you can see we have this refracted pattern in this um, image over here. You can pretty much uh, play around with the um, the refraction strength. Uh, you can change the x refraction and the y refraction. Uh, you can play on with these settings over here. After this merge tool, I'm going to add in a grain to this. Search for a grain and click on add and if you add the normal grain you can see that it is animated we want we don't want any animation on the grain so we'll just delete this we will add in a grain we'll add in a film grain so in the film grain we have the option to click on this checkbox and that will basically create a static grain that will not move you can increase the strength and the reason we are adding this grain is because we want to add a touch of glass into this there you go you can go ahead in the merge and you can change the size and play around with the settings over here. You can change the look of it. Um, and you can animate the center position as well. You can change the angle. You can pretty much do all sorts of stuff over here. And now if you want to mask out a portion, you can just simply add in a rectangle mask, connect it to the displace, and it will um, just mask out that specific portion that you want to have this refracted look on. And that's how you can create this really cool refracted look and you can also replace the media in which is an image you can replace it with the text or a video let's just use a text right over here and i'm going to connect it and just type in something like one two three and increase the size and there you go you have uh, that same refracted look in the text over here as well of course you can disable the mask and you can see how it looks so um, that is it. That's how you can create this uh, really cool and interesting looking refracted effect inside of Fusion. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this video is helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.